fellow dressmaker. Let us dive into the beautiful world of wedding fashion. You have already seen a picture of the finished garment. And now I invite you to travel back in time to the moment when I was just about to start working on it. All I had back then was this sketch. There is a lot of work ahead, so let's go! This time we will be sewing a two-piece wedding dress which consists of a top and a skirt. The fact that this dress is actually made of two separate garments makes it incredibly popular and multifunctional. Such dresses are a good choice for basically any body type. You can visually improve any figure by setting correct proportions to the two components of the dress. You can make a plump girl look taller and thinner or vice versa. Add fuller curves to a skinny girl. Dresses like this are trending this year. Very many brides opt for an outfit made of a top with a skirt. And you must have already guessed that it implies using interchangeable parts, which allow you to create a countless number of combinations. There is one even more special thing about the dress we are going to make. I am sure that you have noticed that the top is made of some fabulous lace fabric. And this unique lace fabric is fully handmade. I will create it right before your eyes. I suppose I have convinced you that there are unlimited possibilities waiting ahead. Moreover, I will also explain certain laws and rules which will help you choose or create patterns for your lace fabric correctly to achieve the best results and complement the garment. Let me say a couple of words about the skirt now. You can find detailed guidelines to sewing similar skirts in my previous books and video tutorials. But this particular skirt will be made in a totally different technique. Firstly, I will use a pattern which was never used for sewing skirts like this before. I will show you how to customize it and make it suitable for sewing a ruffle skirt. Secondly, there will be no complicated inner supporting construction in this skirt. It will be lightweight and mobile, and at the same time it will hold its shape very well under any conditions. This is another advantage of this skirt. And thirdly, I will show you an absolutely new technique for assembling ruffle skirts. I am sure you will use it widely in the future. What are the benefits of this new technique? First of all, it really helps you save a lot of time on working with complicated skirts like ours. It makes things easier physically. My new technique eliminates all those physical challenges that await you in the process of assembling heavy wedding skirts with lots and lots of ruffles. It will be a lot less tiresome. In addition, this technique allows you to assemble such skirts on a regular household sewing machine. I will also suggest a totally new shape for the ruffles themselves. They will be different from the ones used in the previous books by the Corset Academy. The new technique will also allow you to adjust the shape of the skirt right in the making. This is very important for emergency cases when your client asks you to adjust the shape of a nearly finished skirt. Such things are very hard to do when you stick to the traditional technique. But my new technique will help you fulfill your client's wish. You will be able to increase or decrease the fullness of the skirt, prolong the train, adjust the shape of the train, etc. That means a lot. I believe every dressmaker ought to know this particular technique of sewing complicated wedding skirts with ruffles. Let us get to work then. You are about to learn many useful things.